Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys like these videos, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit the red bell so you guys are notified every time that I post a video. Today we are going to talk about green iguanas. Or do they make good pets? Should you get one? Are you still going to want to get one after this video? Who knows? So, let's hop right into it. Guys, first thing I want to start off with is his enclosure. These guys do not do well in fish tanks. They can't be in a reptile vivarium, terrarium. It does not work very well. Any of these will not do very well for a green iguana. I don't care if you even turn it on its side like this to make it tall. It's not going to work. Um, now, if you have a baby, you could definitely probably get away with like a uh, repti breeze screen enclosure. Um, like a sc fully screened enclosure could probably work, but these guys have high humidity um, percentages that need to be met. So keeping that humidity up in that screen enclosure is kind of going to be a pain. So I recommend building something like this. Um, Verde is about two years old and he is just under three foot, if not a little over. Um, his cage is a six foot tall, four foot wide three almost three foot deep um, as you can see he's got a lot of branches a ginormous basically a tree in his enclosure um, we built this um, about a week after I got him um, I wanted to get him in a good place in a good forever enclosure um, if he gets too big for this enclosure I will definitely be making a new one um, I'm kind of leaning towards making a new one because he's getting very big very quick but right now this is doing just fine for him and he'll last in here for quite a while um, how I did this was just some wood from Lowe's um, I put tile after I got it all put in um, I drilled in some of these um, like this here is drilled into the enclosure this perch here is drilled into the enclosure and there's one down here that is built in and then some of them are just hanging out um, his vines I tied in and hung up so he loves this vine he's hanging out on it all the time um, I put tile around it to keep it from rotting as quickly because like I said these guys have humidity temperatures that need to be met or humidity percentages that need to be met sorry um, these guys need a nice UVB bulb, basking bulb that is a 100 watt UVB or UV bulb. Um, he's got a temperature about 105 um, in his basking spot. And as you can see, he's got levels here, okay? Um, he can hang out here, and this is like the cooler spot. Another shaded spot here he can cool off on. Over here he can get a little warm. Over here he can chill out and get cool. And then over here is his nice basking spot. He loves it up here. He goes and hangs out and sleeps up there. Um, you can catch him over here basking a lot. Or over here he basks in his UVB bulb quite often. Um, he's got a automatic uh, Repti rain system that goes off a couple times a day by itself. Um, he's got a Repti Sun tropical UVB bulb. 10.0 a lot of vines foliage and stuff like that now keeping these guys alive is not the hard part their care is actually quite easy compared to like got a you know like a monitor or something like that um he gets fed every single day fruits veggies you got to watch some of the stuff that you do feed them because they can't just eat just anything that's green or a fruit or anything like that you got to really do your research guys it's so simple to just get on google and type in what can I and cannot feed my green iguana? Um, it's simple. Um, he's got Repti Bark at the bottom. Um, he's just, they're not hard to take care of. It's their attitude that really kills it. Um, for one minute, they'll be fine. In the next minute, they will want to rip your face off. And it's not exactly that. It's mainly a defense. You know, they're very defensive. You can see Verde, how his dewlap is extended. His eyes are focused on me, but, oh, see, there he goes. Never do what I just did. Um, if they do kind of like whap at you, don't um, move your hand out of the way. That shows them, hey, I'm in charge. This guy's afraid of me, I'm dominant. What you do is I lay my hand flat, show him I'm not gonna hurt him, and then I just slowly rub. And he closes his eyes, he knows I'm not gonna hurt him. He's a good boy, right, Verde? He's awesome. As you can 
see he's shedding again. He just shed about a month and a half ago, and he's already starting to shed again, which means he's growing and continuously growing. I guess that these guys get huge, and they grow pretty quick, quick very quick they can grow very quick within the first few years and like I said earlier Verde is about two years old um, now they are packed full of weapons those nails already destroy my hands I don't know if you guys can really see all the markings on my hands they are pretty tore up from Verde it's not his fault you know he's just got some really sharp nails and that's for him to climb and do what he's got to do in the wild um, it's not his fault um, it just it's a part that sucks um, and then after handling them when you, you go to use some hand sanitizer it really burns you really feel it um, now that tail as it gets bigger gets more dangerous along with his teeth if he wanted to bite he could probably at least break skin at this size that tail he never tail whips at me I mean sometimes he'll, he'll false whip um, meaning he'll like kind of flinch his tail like he's going to do it he does it and he'll kind of move his head back like as you guys seen in the earlier clip where he made me flinch a little bit now it is very hard not to flinch um, but try your best not to do it because it rewards them um, it makes them think that they are in charge um, and that's not what you want because then they think they can overpower you and you know um, for being an iguana, Verde is very calm for being a green iguana. Um, most of the time they are very territorial. As you can see, I'm all in his enclosure. He's not chasing me. He's not whipping me. He's, he is aware. You can see his eyes and his dewlap is extended. For the most part, he is a pretty calm green iguana though. He's very spoiled. He's got his own mansion here. and. Yeah, that's as much as I got to say for this video, guys. If you guys still think you guys want one of these, stay tuned, subscribe, and hit the red bell so you guys are noticed every time I hit a vid post a video because there will be more videos. There will be care videos on this guy, and you guys will see him grow along with the channel, along with all these other animals. My room is kind of like a reptile nursery as of right now, and everybody's growing very quickly, so make sure that you subscribe, hit the red bell, and watch out for the next video. If you still want a green iguana, there will be care videos on him, along with a lot more other animals here. So make sure you guys subscribe, hit the red bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.